What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, it's a bit of a taboo topic, but I'm talking about my body count. Am I just a massive fuckboy? And does it really matter? So I know that a lot of you men out there may be sexist, may be virgins, and I know that it can make you feel a little bit inadequate, especially if you compare yourself to really successful influencers that are super successful with women. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience, how I've slowly increased my body count um, and talk a little bit about why it's not really that important um, and it's not going to make you that fulfilled hooking up with loads and loads of girls if you don't have anything else going on in your life. Before I jump into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like so it gets shown to more people and feel free to join my men's discord which I'm building at the moment. You'll find topics in there such as entrepreneurship, self-improvement, quitting porn, building your physique, all of these sort of areas that are important for us as men. So feel free to join that. The link will be dropped in the description box or in the comments below. So if you are sexless and you're a virgin and you've probably seen the likes of Andrew Tay, Dan Basilarian, all of these kind of guys who seem to be super successful with women have got all of these hot, beautiful women around you. And when you're struggling to even get one, I know that it can make you feel like shit. And it can stop you really from getting yourself into a position where you're going to actually attract women, attract beautiful women and not sacrifice your general lifestyle whilst doing so. So I wanted to talk about this topic today, give you my own experience. Before I jump into it, I'm not going to be discussing any names or anything like that. So if you've come onto this video today to, to get the inside gossip, then you're going to be disappointed, right? I'm just going to be talking about how I've increased my confidence, how I've hooked up with more girls over time and yeah i hope that helps so i was a fairly confident kid growing up um i didn't have a massive issue when it came to girls i had quite a few girlfriends growing up but obviously this was before i hit puberty so there wasn't any sexual interactions going on or anything like that um but as i got into my teenage years i struggled a lot with my confidence i was very small for my age I went through puberty a lot later than everyone else. I had not a particularly great home life going on and I was teased and bullied quite a lot at school as well. So that impacted my confidence for a long time. I didn't hook up with anyone until I was 19 at university. And even then, you know, I didn't hook up with many girls throughout university. All of my mates quite a few of my mates were hooking up with a lot of girls it was a little bit of a lads culture a bit of a competition which i was miserably failing at and a big part of that was down to the fact that i was still lacking a lot of confidence the the teenage years that i'd had had quite a big impact on my self-worth and on my self-esteem and as you know when it comes to being successful with girls it's all about your confidence so at the end of my final year in uni, I started to become a lot more conscious of the fact I wasn't very confident. So I became a little bit obsessed with losing weight and getting in shape. I'd do press ups every, every single night, even after a night out. I'd skip out on the takeaways after. And a lot of that was down to the fact that one of my mates in particular kept calling me a fat shit. And this was obviously adding to my lack of self-confidence and self-worth. Um, so that started the journey for me really into personal development, improving myself, firstly getting myself into shape, but also just generally improving my habits and you know making certain sacrifices in my life that were gonna help me to feel better about myself. So after uni, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life and with my career. So I took a year out. I went to America for three months coaching soccer in a brand new environment surrounded by quite positive people. 
I hooked up with a couple of girls in that three month period. Obviously the British accent helps a little bit, so I can't claim to, to have done too much. But my confidence was a lot better uh, and that's an important aspect that I want you guys to realize is that if you surround yourself with positive people, if you're in a positive environment, that's only gonna make you feel more confident. You can have more positive energy and that's gonna be something that's gonna be very attractive to women. So coming back from America, I started my master's degree. That was another year of a complete dry spell. I was very focused on my studies. My, there wasn't much of a social life going on um, and girls were not a top priority for me at that point. So I got my master's degree, did pretty well. After that, I decided that I wanted to start my own business, working on mindset. And that was when I was 22 and I am now 30. So the past eight years have really been devoted towards self-improvement, trying to build my business, build my social network, obviously build my physique, turn myself into the kind of man who is capable of achieving success. And a lot of that has actually been down to improving my confidence, which was, as I said, quite badly damaged during my teenage years. So in that period, this eight year period, I've, I've never had a girlfriend. I've stayed single my entire life and I haven't hooked up with that many girls, right? So one of my big issues through that period of time was getting attached to girls that were unavailable, that had boyfriends or finding myself in the friend zone. Um, and I grew up with this kind of fantasy idea of, of love and relationships. Um, because I didn't see any amazing relationships in my own life. I relied a lot on movies and a lot of that stuff very heavily romanticizes uh, love and sex and that idea of the one was deeply ingrained into my mindset which had a very negative impact on my sex life because having that mindset makes you by nature very codependent it means that you get very easily attached to girls and this can be a massive put off for them so i had to unlearn a lot of those things that i learned during childhood um, that changed or you know adapted my mindset to, to think oh this girl is going to be the one like or putting all my hopes and dreams in, into one girl um, and in the past probably two or three years, I've learned a lot more about red pill, about female nature, hypergamy, and that has increased my success with women. So about three or four years ago, I decided to go and live out in Malaga, Spain. Quite simply, I'd had enough of the UK. I was just working bar jobs. I didn't feel like I was progressing. I wasn't doing anything in my business and my mental health was really starting to suffer. So I went to Malaga, spent six months there, hooked up with a couple of girls, being in a completely different environment where I could be completely myself, nobody knew me, um, was a big, big factor in that. So, you know, if you're in that same situation, if you're stuck in your hometown, then I highly recommend that you go to a different city or, you know, you go traveling for a while uh, you put yourself out of your comfort zone into a different environment where you can explore yourself, where you can try new things like with people without worrying that it's going to come back to you and people are going to judge you and all the rest of it. And then, yeah, came back to the UK, had to live back at parents, which was not ideal for my sex life, as I'm sure you can imagine, especially being 28 years old. Um, but that was a period obviously through the lockdown pandemic, probably not that many people were hooking up anyway. Um, I then started as a personal trainer, was very focused on building my business for that year. So, uh, didn't hook up with anyone. I don't think during that year. Um, then I changed gyms, uh, to another big gym started to become a little bit more successful with women in that period. Um, I was 
diverting a lot of attention towards learning about female nature, about female psychology. Red pill, so hooked up with about probably four or five girls over that period. Some of those were girls that I had, you know, multiple sexual interactions with, not just one night stands. Um, so understanding female nature, understanding hypergamy, and turning yourself into what women actually want and desire and unlearning what, what we're told and conditioned that they, that they think they want, that's really important if you're wanting to, um, to improve your sex life. So that would be my first port of call to you guys is really to, uh, to understand it, you know, read the rational mail, go watch YouTube videos uh, that are around female nature and hyperergamy. Um, and that will really help. But yeah, I, I didn't want to come on and uh, preach and pretend that I'm a sex guru. Um, I'm not a pickup artist. I don't necessarily agree with a lot of the tactics. I think they're quite manipulative and don't necessarily improve you as a person. And I think that's important because you're only going to attract the quality of women that you want if you're a high quality man. So you need to work on yourself and on your life first before thinking about girls. Um, because you'll only attract girls that aren't adding any value into your life that are just drains on your on your energy and if you're wanting to go far in life if you're wanting to be successful um, then you need to find girls that are going to compliment you in doing that so the, i guess the part that you all were waiting for is like how many girls were i actually slept with which is like 16 it's not particularly high given the fact i'm 30 and i've been single most of my life some of those have obviously been one night stands. Some of those have been like more friends with benefits sort of situations, one threesome. Um, but I'm not successful in the sexual marketplace, um, but I have improved my sex life over the years. And I wanted to give my experience on that. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.